Good morning everyone, it's June the, I think it's 13th today, so it's uh, still middle of winter, but it's a beautiful sunny day, 17 degrees. And today I just want to do a little bit of work on this pine. This is one that I inherited. And it's got quite a lot of scarring from previous wiring. And I was just watching a video this morning, um, Heron's Nursery in the UK. And he basically intentionally leaves his wire on, but maybe not as thick as what this was, but predominantly on the trunk because it will thicken it up and give it some bulges and things. So a little bit of a different thought there. But what my plan for today is, is to actually get some more movement in this part of the trunk and maybe bring this branch down around a little bit more. So I'll be rewiring it um, yeah, and just try and bend a little bit. So because I want to try and move that a fair bit and it's reasonably thick, I'm going to put raffia on it to protect it in case I do split it. And that just basically means that any cracks that do emerge in the trunk um, will heal over because they're protected with raffia, which keeps the moisture and all the candy and everything flowing on the outside. So without any further ado, I will jump into that So the raffia I've got is on a roll. I've seen a lot of the bonsai people actually have it loose in a bag, so I don't know quality difference or this is meant to be organic and I don't know how they join it, but this has been working for me. So what I'm going to do is measure off roughly three times the length that I intend to, to wrap. And then I'm just going to make that, I might go a bit longer again actually, I'll just make that so it's in five layers. So we'll just keep on doubling this over. So there's three, four, five. Now, five isn't any precise number. I believe if the branch was thicker, I'd probably do it thicker. Um, I'm just gonna tie that end off so it doesn't unravel. And I have a bucket of water down here into which I'll throw this, make it a little bit wet, and then we'll go about wrapping it around the branch. So I'm just giving that a short time in the bucket. Now while that's been soaking, I've just been taking a bit of a look at where I'll start from, and I'm planning here, but I noticed that we've got some reverse, or quite a big reverse tape, where this part is much thinner than this part, and I think that's exactly what they were talking about in that video I was watching earlier. So because this is wired, it's actually made it swell so I really need to make these parts grow further down so I'll wire it up but I'll probably need to let some of these branches grow very long and leggy to try and get the the rest of the trunk to thicken up so I'm going to start wrapping from here so I'll pull my raffia out of the water and just run my hand down it to drain the excess water off so it doesn't end up all over my lap Get rid of my bucket and I'm going to start from the point where I intend to not be bending so I'll just place that around there and it's basically just a case of gradually working it around now because I've got a spinning table here it makes my life a little easier and I don't have too many branches to work with so just keep it firm So the whole idea of it is it's got to be firm enough that if we do get a split, it will basically hold everything in, keep the moisture in, all that sort of stuff. Now, because I'm spinning the thing, I'm also getting some twists in the, in the raffia, so I've just got to make sure I unwrap that as I go. And it should basically be doing about a, a two thirds overlap so that at any given point you've probably got instead of the the five layers it's probably more like seven the way it's overlapping so i'll put this on fast forward now so that you don't have to watch the approximately five minutes of me wrapping this All 
Alright, so now that I'm down near the bottom, I'm just going to cut the loops on the end and we'll twist this around itself a couple of times and then by going in opposite directions around the branch I'll be able to tie this off. So next up I will get some wire. Um, general rule of thumb with wire is it should be close to half the width of the trunk that you're trying to bend. So this is a reasonably thick, it's probably about a a centimetre thick so I should be really using uh, five mil wire or six mil I think is the size I've got here. Um, so I'll go and grab that and we'll start wiring up. All right so I've got myself a length of six mil wire. This is pretty hard to work with. This is aluminium so it's easier than copper however it's still quite hard to work with. Given that I don't have a lot of branches in the way it makes this a little bit easier but I have tended with others to actually do two wires adjacent to each other of a thinner gauge, so 2 mil, 2.5 mil, something like that. So what we're going to do is literally poke this straight through the roots, try and find a soft spot in there. This is actually feeling pretty root bound, so it's probably going to need a repot soon. I can't even find a spot to push my, my wire down. There's one. So push that down to the bottom of the pot. And there's a theory of the way that you should bend. So you basically want to bend so that the direction that you're bending has the wire coming over the top. Now, I haven't exactly worked out which way I'm planning to bend, but I'm going to go anti-clockwise on this one. So just supporting the wire with one hand, we simply bend around, carefully poke the eyes out as we go, and just keep supporting the wire on the bend a little bit with your thumb, so we're not bending on the branch as such, we're bending more with our finger. So I'm holding the, the wire down here, because without that you can see it moves, and then sort of pushing around and in. Now we want roughly a 60 degree angle on this. So I'm at the point now where I'm actually going to be doing my bends and we just keep on working it up like that. There's a YouTube channel called Love Bonsai and the lady on that she never speaks but she does these amazing bending of very large bonsais, um, worth checking it out just to see someone with advanced skills what they can actually do. So she actually uses what looks like string, I don't know if it's just an organic string but instead of raffia. Um, I have bought some natural string but I haven't actually as yet tried using it instead of raffia. It's always interesting to see other people's techniques. Okay, so because I've got an excess of wire here, I'm going to keep on going up because I did want to bend that top down a bit more, but I was just going to pull it in with a piece of wire, but we'll do it with this instead. Now, I'm basically sitting where the groove is from the previous person's wiring. I'm just going to go slightly outside of that. Just because I actually would like to try and heal that over a bit. So I'm going to be doing some cutting and forcing it to recallus. All right, so we've got that wired up. So I've previously wired up these end branches and these branches here. So I'm just going to have a bit of a look and decide on how I want to bend this. So I'm sort of thinking coming out and then back in. And I've put a little marker in here, I've just put a little wire loop there to indicate that's what I've previously chosen as my front. Alright, so I'm going to 
try to bend a little out. So I'm bending below the raffia here, so I've just got to be a bit careful. So I'm making a point of supporting around the wire as I'm doing it now. The bend, I probably need the wire a bit differently placed, but I'm just going to keep on working with this. Ideally, the wire should be on the top there. So I have got a bit of a bend, but it's not as much as I'd like. Um, I've, I've been experimenting with some 3D printing tools to help with bending in precise spots, but I won't go down that path at the moment. So I'll do the backward bend now. So I'm using my thumb as the pivot point. Okay. So that's, I probably want to get a little bit more than that on it. But that has bent it from straight up like a fair way. So because this is hitting the edge of the pot, I'm having to bend outward as I'm going. So I'd like to fold that in a little bit tighter. And then potentially lift the bottom up. Where I'd really like this is somewhere up like that. I might do a second bend after some time. I, I find that you do a certain amount in a day, you can then come back again and do it more without as much risk of doing damage to the branch because I always find I just get a little bit overzealous and end up cracking and then the branch more than likely die on me. So it's got quite a lot of movement now happening in it. So these just got a bit bent out of place and they're really not in the right spot now because of my new bends, but I'll just spend a bit of time readjusting how they sit. That probably changes my front slightly, although I'll still be bending that up a bit, but um, I'm not going to play with them anymore for the moment, but I'll just let that go. I'll probably come back to it in two or three days and do a bit more. Just do a bit of weeding while I'm here. So as I said, this plant really probably needs repotting when we come into springtime. So somewhere around there is where I'm thinking the front will be. Let's get this pulled in and up a little bit more. So probably somewhere like that is the front. All right, I'll see you in the next one.